Wait a minute. Oh, this is gonna be so awkward. Okay, so I need to figure. Actually, wait. Maybe, maybe I should close that screen first, since that's. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> this is gonna be so weird. Bam. League. 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 Where's League? Oh gosh, this is weird. Hey, it's my sun disk. <laughs> Hi, Ari. Welcome in. Um. Oh gosh. This is gonna be a really weird setup. Oh. Oh wait, what the heck? What if I do this? What if I do this? Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. There we go. Okay, sorry, I'm still trying to figure out how to do a double screen share like this. I do see some carrying. No, 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 we're, it's just gonna be a lot of practice tool stuff. <clears throat> hi Tristan, hi Modi. Hello Uhulang and hello Eri. Uh, let me get the hydrate. We're here joined by Mr. Rekka today um, for some very intro league coaching stuff. And I think a lot of the stuff is going to be very basic, but I'll probably throw in a few tips here and there for more advanced stuff as well. So maybe you guys can pick up on that. Who knows? We'll see. Still better see some carrying. I don't know if we'll actually do like a real game. At the most, maybe like a 1v1 or something. But I need to switch between multiple perspectives here. So this might get a little bit funky. Um, let's see. So that's Rekka's screen. And... Oh! Oh, shoot. That's the issue. Okay, so I can't show the... Cl I need to show the client as well. This is going to be really funky. Hmm. So right here, I can cycle between that and that. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Let me pop open Rekka's stream as well. See how he's doing on his end. All right. Looks like things are doing, going pretty smoothly. Hi, Rekka! Right on cue. Thank you for the hydrate. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see. How do I want to set this up? How do I want to set this up? Let's go to... This? Okay. That was successful. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think I am mostly ready. I'll let him know. And why are the two firsts on his thing? I am first. Ha ha ha. Bro, come on, come on, come on, Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Alrighty. I'm honestly not too sure how this is going to oh. look, but I'll try to make it work. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, Anon, Anon, thank you for the gifted sub to Helix. Oh. Hey, yo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, well, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Alright, so, the first thing I want you to do once you open up League is to go ahead and check your keybinds. Uh, oh, oh shit. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Tristan, hey, yo, thank you for the follow. <laughs> yo. Um, okay, let me go to my keybinds. Uh, where is it? Oh, no, that's not it. Bro, am I just stupid? I'm, I'm just stupid. Oh, uh, just scroll down. It should be under in-game hotkeys. Oh, wait, hotkeys. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what you'll see, uh, at the very top there, it says quick cast and normal cast. 
There mm -hmm. are two types of quick cast and one type of normal cast. Normal cast is when you press an ability, it'll show you like a line indicator or something for that ability, uh -huh. right? The targeter. Mm -hmm. And you can move that around. And then once you click left click, then it'll cast the ability. Oh, I think that's good. that's good starting out so you can learn how far each ability goes and what they look like. But once you get more comfortable with the game, I do recommend switching over to quick cast of uh, so do I just some sort. Mm -hmm. So just like what I do. Uh, I do you see my think you should. Yeah, I see your screen. I think you should be on normal cast by default. If not, we can also change that in game. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And then the two types of quick cast are just. Uh, I think it's just called quick cast. And then there's also quick cast with indicator. That's uh, right oh, there. Right here. Yeah. Um, what that does is instead of so with indicator, if you press the button, like let's mm -hmm. say you press Q. Instead of pulling yeah. up the targeter, it'll instantly cast it. But uh, with so indicator, if you hold Q, then it'll show the distance. And then once oh, you release, it'll cast yeah. it. Yeah, I see. OK. It's like an in-between of the two. I don't like it. Some people really like it. There's no correct or incorrect one. It's just personal preference. Mm -hmm. um, do you play locked or unlocked screen? Locked. Locked, OK. There's no issue. Oh, wait, no. We had this talk in your chat once, I believe, right? Yeah, I think I think we did. Like, when, okay. I, was talk when I was talking to you, yeah. E so there's no real difference. There's pros who use locked and unlocked. I think I just try to find the balance between the two, personally. <laughs> there's no correct or incorrect one for that either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you play Flash on D or F? I think it was F, if I remember. Flash uh, on F, OK. Flash on F is the more common one, but again, there's no uh, mm. there's no correct or incorrect one. That's all preference. and. Yeah. All that stuff. I think everything else should be should be okay. Make them change it to D. I said so. Noodle. I'm not making him change it to D if he's already comfortable with it on an F. It's a preference. Okay, that's about it, honestly. Right, go ahead right. and press play. All right. And go to training. I think you should have it open. Yeah. And hit practice tool and hit confirm. And go ahead and start. Practice tools, unfortunately, only one person. And you can bring in bots and stuff, but we're just going to do it one person to teach some stuff. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. OK. And you're learning Jinx, you said? Yeah, I main Jinx. OK. Go ahead and select Jinx, then. And we'll not care too much about runes. And change your, yeah, change your flash and all that stuff as well. You should change it to right mouse click. <laughs> no, no, no way, no way, not happening. <laughs> that is not happening. Absolutely not. Oh god, if I did change my my mouse. My... Oh god. Oh wait. Oh no, you're not on my screen. Oh no. Okay, hmm? There we go. No, I'm trying to be reactive on my screen. Oh. There we go. There we go. Haha. Uh -huh. Are you winning? I am learning. All oh, right. Now he waits 10 years for this to load in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just play play League with all your keybinds on a Steam Deck. Easy. Oh, like God. <laughs> DDR. <laughs> oh. Imagine playing. No, no, no. Hear me out. Play a league with a, with a wheel and pedals. With a... <laughs> <laughs> let me ult up. Let me just shift to uh, R so I can use my ult. <laughs> but, yeah. Stick shift. Ooh. Stick shift I play uh, league on stick shift. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh my god. Let me change my display settings to because mm -hmm. it is so loud. Oh, that was... it is. Oh, why is everything loud? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once you uh, are done with that, go ahead on the left side. There, on the bottom half, there's the three icons. The one, the two that look like towers. Go ahead and hit those. Yeah. 
both of those. And then also toggle minion spawn as well, so we'll turn that off. Uh, it's right below the towers. And at the very top, there's three as well. It's cooldowns, HP, and mana. We'll toggle cool. those three. That's the very first three. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, right. So that'll give you infinite mana, infinite cooldowns, uh, and minions won't respawn or anything, infinite HP as well. It's just to make uh -huh. things easier. So go into base and go ahead and purchase... Actually, you don't have money. Uh, the one below the mana one, the little teardrop one, that one just gives you gold. So go ahead and just spam that a few times. And the one below that gives you levels. Go ahead and go to level 18. It shouldn't matter too much. Okay. All right. So the first thing I want you to pick up is a ward. Uh, it, it. Okay. You gotta, you, you gotta tell okay. me things. What? Actually, wait, where, 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 how, f how much league have you or how where, where am i starting where am i teaching from i guess okay uh basically <laughs> friends invited me threw mm -hmm. me into a game they gave me jinx say have fun only play like two, like two days worth and never play it ever again ah okay so we're starting with the very basic basics all yes right. yeah, yes all right how comfortable are you with movement um i'm pretty comfortable at least Okay. With movements, if you are in a fight or something, try to click closer to the feet of your character, like not too far in front of you, because the way movement in this game works is it auto-paths you the closest distance. So like, if you click, mm -hmm. you see the, the crystal there, that's the inhibitor? If you click behind it, it'll walk you around whichever side you're closer to the behind area I from. I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you clo click closer to your feet, you don't walk as far, but you get a more, uh, what do you call it? A more accurate movement, I guess. You get to move see. how more how you want to, rather than how the game wants you to. Mm, and okay. I noticed that you are probably holding down right click here. Yes. Don't hold down right click. That's terrible. Okay. okay. <laughs> Never okay. ever hold down right click. If you All need right. to move more, just spam click. Just spam click right click. Okay. Yeah. Um, open the item shop with I think it's P. Mm -hmm. And on the left side, you'll see all your consumable items. So that's the health potions, uh, corrupting potion, which is health and mana. That one's not really useful for ADCs. Uh, and then you'll have the three ward types, the yellow ward. I'm just gonna go by the colors, it's probably easier. Yellow mm -hmm. ward is the most basic one, it's free. You just put it down. You can put two wards, no, three wards down at a time, I believe. I yeah. don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, putting out extra wards will delete the oldest ward and they'll expire okay. after a little bit uh, so mm -hmm. go ahead and pick that one even if you don't buy it and completely forget to mm -hmm. by the time you walk past the first tower the game will automatically give you that one uh, so oh, I see. Okay. it shouldn't matter too much and it doesn't exist in ARAM either mm, okay. um, the blue one is the same thing as the yellow one except it's not invisible it has a lot farther range as well, mm -hmm. and I think you can only place one at a time, or only one. And um, the red one is like a counter almost, a counter ward. Uh, it sweeps the area for wards rather than warding itself. I see. So, um, like, these are like what are wards specific? They're just like there to find enemies or something like that? Uh, yeah, kind of. So, go ahead and put the ward, or before you put the ward down, hit the bind, the bind for that should be four. So, close yep. out of the shop. And press four. Oh, did that instantly go down, or did you click as well? Instant, instant. Instant. Okay, hold four. Okay, so you're on quick cast with indicator right now. So let's use normal cast to make things a little bit easier for learning. Okay. So... Uh, hotkeys and just hit normal cast all. All right. Some things are by default set onto instant cast still, no matter if you have it on normal or not, just because mm -hmm. that's how some abilities work. Yeah, so when you press 4, that's the range in which you can put the ward. And that lighter circle with the dot in the center, that's how far the ward can see. So when enemies walk into that range, they'll get uh, spotted and pinged on the map. You can see, see them on the map briefly. Uh, uh, so okay. make sure you always have an eye on the map. Um, wards, when you put it down, go ahead and press uh, place one down. It'll go invisible after a short duration, like that. Mm -hmm. And once it goes invisible, enemies can't hit it anymore unless it's been revealed by like one of those um, scanners or another ability <clears throat> or item or something like that. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
go ahead and hit Shift B. That's the keybind for teleporting in practice tool. Uh, you don't have to memorize that one. And go ahead and teleport to somewhere in bot lane. Wait, no, is that, oh, oh no, Shift B is. Oh no, that's target dummy. Shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Which one's? I forget which one's teleport. Shift S maybe. S Shift S. Try that one. Is that teleporting? That is oh, yeah, teleporting. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you press four again, and hover the ward over the bush, you see how. So, oh. put it in the bush. You see how there's that green indicator around it now. Yeah. And hover the ward outside of the bush again. So like, uh, let's see, let's see. So Don't place it down. Just like have, just look at the indicator. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when it's inside of the bush, there will be this green indicator. When it's outside of the bush, the indicator will change. Mm -hmm. like when it's in the lane. Um, so that's how you know if the ward is inside of a bush or not. It doesn't really matter too much if it's inside of a bush sometimes, but having it in a bush means it can see what's inside of the bush. If it's outside of the bush, then that vision is blocked off and the ward will not be able to see it. So if the ward's inside the bush, it can't see anything outside of the bush? It can see outside of the bush. Oh, it can see. So it, it includes mm -hmm. the bush. Okay. Yes, bush can see. Anything inside of a bush can see outside. But anything outside cannot see inside of the bush unless you have mm. direct vision inside of the bush. I see, I see. Okay. Has he played League before? Not much. So we're Not starting much. from the very, very basics, which is good. Because the very basics, a lot of people aren't taught, and there's a lot of things in those very basics that people don't know. So I'm not expecting you to be like god tier, god tier pro or something, but knowledge <laughs> is power. Knowledge is power. Yeah. A lot of it's muscle memory as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Lilac, welcome in. How are you doing? Interesting. It's been a while. All right, the next thing is leveling abilities. What do you level your abilities with? You just click on the up arrow, yeah. I'm guessing. Don't click on the up arrow. Hold control and press the ability letter. Uh, that will insta-level those abilities. That way you don't have to like move your mouse off the screen too much. And you'll, I don't know if, how big are your hands, if they're comfortable enough to press control Q, control W, E, R, but. Should be okay, right? Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, interesting. I didn't know that. Mm hmm. And I can see the gamer, <laughs> gamer right. skill potential via god level pro user. So the next thing is pinging. I believe it's control. If you hold control and click somewhere. All right. So that's like a, a caution ping. And the other one, I think, is. Is it hold control and then click and drag your mouse? Uh, so that's yeah, the ping okay. wheel. Okay. Um, so the four basic ones are the top, bottom, left, and right one. And then they recently introduced a bunch of new ones. People don't really use them too much, honestly. Mm. But the important ones, I think, are the four cardinal direction ones. Mm -hmm. So top is danger. You can ping people to back off from a place. Uh, right one is on my way. You can use that one to tell people you're going in or going out. Mm. Uh, question mark ping is used for memes. And when people do something stupid or something, you ping them question marks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the bottom one, I f forget what that one is, actually. <laughs> I don't use it enough. Oh. Assist me. Okay, yeah. that one. I play a lane that's like kind of alone from the map, so I don't use that one ah. too much. But it's good. I see. Okay. Um... And I guess this one's kind of a meme, too. There's one that looks like a fish hook, which is baiting. Yeah. The old design for that ping used to look like a noose, actually. So people would use it as a <laughs> way of DMing. <laughs> <laughs> so be careful how you use that one, because some people still use it in that fashion, in that, unfortunately. Yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. But the four basic ones, make sure you remember those. Those are really good to know. Um, the other thing i think it's holding alt and clicking wait what was that holding alt and clicking just click uh just tapping you don't have to drag or anything hold, hold like yeah so this is just like a normal ping this doesn't give any information it's just like oh, attention oh, okay. on the map or something or attention to somewhere or like clicking on something if you mm. see an enemy put a word down nobody ever does this but if you see an enemy put a word down, hold alt, click on that word. It gives you five free gold for nothing. You get five free gold instantly. And it uh, also puts a timer for the word so you know when it expires. Okay. 
see. And to this, this is like a new thing they added, and to this day, I don't see anyone doing it. It's horrible. It's <laughs> god awful. Please, anyone in chat on either side, if you see a ward, please just click on it. There's no reason. It, it's free. It's free. There's no reason not to do it. <laughs> it takes like half a second. You don't even have to click directly on it. You can just click on the side. For why is it like just specific? Hi Dragon Knight, welcome in. Thank you for the hydrate. Here's, here's my gold. How are you doing today? Is that just the case? I'm sorry. So like, is it just a random reward? Oh, like I found this ward. Um, yeah. kind of. So hitting wards, if you're the first person to hit a ward, it gives you money. You don't have to kill it. You just have to hit it once, and it gives you a little tiny bit of gold. Mm. Um, the I don't know why they made it so that pinging it also gives you the money now, but. It's just the thing they added, and it's, it's, it's five free gold. Why not? <laughs> I, see, I, see. I think in higher ranks, you'll start seeing people do it more often, but there's a lot of people, even in those higher ranks, that I don't see doing this at all, just because mm. they're not used to it. It's like a new thing. So, I see, I see. Yeah. Getting started now and learning it and getting into that habit is a very good thing. Um, I would say don't do it in the middle of a fight because sometimes if you're if you're still like figuring the game out it might be a little awkward but like if you're in the laning phase and you see a ward just go ahead and click on it and you'll get a free timer you'll know when the ward is gone and all that stuff good stuff mm. Mm -hmm. okay let's see all right now we get into abilities i think so how do you jinx is an adc her damage is auto attacks mostly right so <laughs> let's do auto attacks first actually how do you auto attack uh, so like, what do you mean by that? Like, I'll just go so go ahead and hit Shift B and put down a target dummy. Or actually, you already have them over here. That's fine too. So if you're if that's an enemy, how would you attack them? Is right clicking? Uh, left, left click. Left click or right click? Yeah, left left click. Left okay, click. so left click. Um, approach. Then. Yeah. Okay, so right click is your attack technically. So if you click on the other target with your right click, it'll switch to that target. Oh, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. So movement, on clicking right click on the ground moves you, and then clicking right click on a target will attack it. Mm, okay. Let's say you want to attack that target, and you want to stand there, but you want to stop attacking. What would you do? Uh, shit, I'd like probably just move, move, just move, move away. away. Yeah, okay, so because... the button S will completely stop all actions. Oh, very very useful so even if you want to like move let's say like click somewhere far away to move there and then if you hit s it'll also stop you in your tracks no matter how far uh, you clicked okay mm -hmm. uh some characters will use this use that animation as like a like a bait almost you don't have to worry too much about that yet mm -hmm. but uh s is very good i have a finger on s almost all the time and i use this like crazy mm -hmm. i don't know if everyone uses this but it's something that has helped me a lot so that's pretty good. Okay. Auto attacking, um, clicking directly on someone can be a little difficult sometimes, especially when they're moving around all the time. So the thing that I use is uh, if you hit shift. Wait, no, is yeah. it shift? No, it's A. Did you hit A? A. Oh, oh, A brings up. Yeah, A brings up your attack range. So that's how far you can attack. And then if you press A, and then right click. It'll attack the person closest, the, tar the target closest to where you clicked. So wait, so wait, left click or right click? Left click. Ah, uh, I see, I mm -hmm. see. So even if two targets are really close, if you, if I want to hit the one that's on top, I'll like click closer to the top area of that circle so that I'll hit that target instead of the bottom target. It's great mm. for minion clearing. It's great for being in a fight. And ADCs, you have to auto attack a lot, so. That one's pretty helpful too, uh, but it's also just like whichever one you're most comfortable with. Mm. Okay. Hi, honey. Thank you for the posture check on the hydrate. So A for and, attack, uh, S mwah. stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see where else. What else do we need to talk about? Uh, there's also other forms of targeting, but you have to separately bind those. If you set a hotkey to like target champions only or target minions only, that can also be helpful. I haven't gotten used to it yet, so I don't use it personally, but if you want to get into that good habit early on, I would recommend binding that onto something. I see. Okay. Uh, that would just be in, like... Uh, I actually don't know where the bind for that is. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay. Um... 
It should be in player movement. Attack, attack only. Click. It's not in there. Um, let me see. Click has spell. Click has indicator. Teleport items. Move click. Attack move. Oh shoot. Maybe it's over here. Oh shoot. Okay, I actually don't know where that is, but if I figure it out, I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay. Okay. Um. Anywho. <laughs> Hi, Jua. He looks back on League of Server coaching Rekka over here. He's very, very new, but um, hopefully some of these tips can also help everyone else. Uh, the next thing, we're gonna go back to wards for just a second. So remember how I said the ward can only go inside of that range? Yes. He kind of lied. So go ahead and. Sh Hit Shift S and teleport to like a wall in the river somewhere. Uh, oh, wait. That's uh, fine. That's fine. Okay. okay, that's fine too. So go ahead and stand in like the side of that wall on the bottom there, and press four. So you s actually stand a little bit closer to the bottom of that wall. Yeah, like right there, the chunky area. So you see how the target, like the little little cross target or thing, is like outside now. You could put wards uh, over walls because the ward cannot be inside of a wall. The game will force the ward to whatever is closest on the other side. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So if you want to check what's on the other side of that wall, just put it in the middle of the wall somewhere and it'll boop, plop onto the other side. It's That's... not the most useful thing for some places on the map because the walls are short enough usually, mm -hmm. but f in particular, bot lane, if you're playing on the top side of the map, you see that... Um, the equivalent of this wall on the other side. So. Uh, other way. So, I, I shoot. I can't click on your map, can I? So <laughs> the top right of your map right now, that part. There's like a right. giant chunky wall there. Go ahead and stand right there. That's oh, right, right, right here. Yeah, on the other side. So like, let's pretend you're playing from the top side. Mm. Don't forget we have detention after class. What the heck? <laughs> so you see that bush on the left side now? So, right here? Yeah, if someone comes from there, there's no way of you seeing. But you can put a ward in that bush from over here on the wall by using that mechanic. Uh, the part you click has to be inside of the wall, though. So you have to uh, stand a little bit further down. Like, uh, go below that tree, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. There's a few locations you can do it from. Some people have it down to muscle memory, some people have to use the targeter, but... Uh, that way you get a ward in that bush for free without ever having to walk there. Mm. Easy peasy. The only downside is that this ward will not be able to see the top side of river since it's so close to the bottom of the bush. Alright, next, let's go back to the spawn area. Let's go back to base. Uh, go back to base. And let's focus on auto attacks for now. Abilities are extra. Every champion has auto attacks. So do you know what kiting means? Kiting? I have no idea what, what any term is. Okay, so kiting comes from obviously the word kite. It's like dragging a kite around. Mm -hmm. And the concept is that... Um, like let's say someone's chasing you and you're going to be running away from them. But you want to keep hitting them with auto attacks. That's kiting. Or like uh, pulling something towards you with like if it's a minion or something and they're aggroed onto you if you walk away from them they'll keep aggroing onto you so that's pulling them around that's kind of okay and, uh as an adc it's very important to just keep hitting things with your auto attacks but you can't move when you're auto attacking you're standing still right mm -hmm. so what you'll do is you'll kite around you'll walk up shoot an auto attack then walk then shoot another auto attack try that with these targets instead of kiting away though just try kiting up and down so shoot, walk up, shoot, walk down, shoot, walk up. Mm -hmm. Left and right works too. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so kiting, basically, it's just like just alternating from shoot and move? Pretty much, yeah. I see. And think of... So attack speed is obviously how fast you can auto-attack, right? But mm -hmm. the game isn't really programmed like that. Think of auto-attacks as abilities as well. Think of them as an ability with a really short cooldown. Mm. 
Okay. And your attack speed is what determines that cooldown. So the lower that cooldown, the more often you can attack. The higher that cooldown, the slower your attack speed, then the less often you can attack. Okay. Um, you're in the coding side of things, right? You're a programmer. Yeah. Have you ever worked on a game with like animations and stuff? I well, I am not that advanced just yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, I obviously did not go into too much programming stuff, so I don't know if I'm going to use like incorrect terminology here. Hopefully, it's not too confusing. Mm -hmm. But basically, with animations, there's three parts to each animation. There's the startup animation, where like Jinx will, like when she's walking around, her guns like kind of pointed down, mm -hmm. right? When you initiate an attack, she'll pull the gun upwards and target it. That part doesn't do any damage. She just gets the gun ready, and that's the start of animation. Every ability, yeah. everything has that. Some yeah, yeah. longer than others, some shorter than others. Then there's the part where she shoots the bullet. That part mm -hmm. actually does damage. And then there's... After that, she like her gun like kind of recoils, right? Mm -hmm. That's the... I guess like a fall-off animation? End animation? I don't know what it's called. Yeah. But you can cancel that part with a movement input. So if you click and quickly move you can get a lot more attacks in or move a lot more often. I mean, I guess... Oh. Yeah. So that's animation cancelling. Uh, not every ability can do that. Not every auto attack can be exactly animation cancelled, I guess. It's a lot easier on ranged characters. But uh, this is something very important as well to maximize your movement. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. And obviously that'll take a little bit of practicing. For me, I auto attack with... A, so I'll right-click somewhere to move, hit A, and then click near that target, and then right-click again. It's helpful for me because my aim's not the best, so as long as I know what general direction they're in, I can get a lot more attacks in. Whereas someone who has good aim, they might just click on them, and that's less inputs that they have to... That's less uh, clicks they have to do. Less buttons they have to press. Okay, okay. So mess around with that for a little bit and try to get comfortable with movement. Uh, this will probably take you a little bit to get used to, since WASD is obviously very different from League Movement, but yeah. Yeah. Played League for like 10 years I thought there was for a few like rounds. A Ooh, like how was it, Dua? Uh... Move, like use left you never showed me how to play League? Right you never asked move, me, and you already know how to play. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's fine. Okay. I mean, obviously there's no correct way for this either, it's just whatever works for you, whatever you're most comfortable with. Mm-hmm. I'm bronze, I don't know shit. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine. That's okay. Seems... You know the basics, though. Seems alright. Mm -hmm. Um, Jinx's abilities, you probably already know what they do, right? Yeah. Q switches between two modes of fire. Uh, w is the slow, E is the traps. Ulti yeah. is big boom. Uh, with the ulti, how do you aim it? Um general direction but i lead lead my shots okay depending on where they move so with your ulti you can actually click on the mini map to aim it as well yeah uh you know that like one? I, I just do that i do this sometimes. you do this okay um trying to think there's like things that i would teach like when and how to use the traps effectively mm -hmm. but i don't know if we're gonna get to that just yet um do you know how do you know what buffering is? No. Okay, so this is... Oh, actually, I guess this is going back to auto attacks. I'm all over the place right now. Wow. So <laughs> no buffering worries. is inputting a series of commands, not necessarily in the correct order, but you're doing it so quickly that the game the game kind of like queues up abilities and auto attacks. So you can press two things, and it'll fire them as soon as they're ready, basically. So, like... Um, if you stand far away from that target, like outside of your auto attack range, and you press right click on it, it's moving you first, but you'll always get the auto attack off as long as you let the game follow through with it. Mm, that auto attack was buffered. This is a very basic buffer, but a little bit more advanced than that, let's walk out, like just slightly out of range. Yep. A little bit closer. A little closer? Mm -hmm. So... If you right-click that target, obviously you're going to walk towards it, right? So mm -hmm. right-click and immediately flash in that direction. You see how that auto-attack went through as well? 
Mm, yeah. That's because you input the auto attack first, and then you hit flash. Flash put you in range of it, and that auto attack was buffered, so it fires as well. Mm, I see, I see. Okay. All point and click abilities can be buffered, including auto attacks. All auto attacks can be buffered as well. And the reason this is so important, especially for auto attacks, is because you cannot flash out of that. If mm, someone tries to, if they see you flash and they react and they try to flash away, the auto attack will still follow up, even if you're a melee character, and it's a melee auto attack. They flash over a wall, you'll still hit them. It'll hit no matter what. Mm. It's really good for confirming kills. It's really good for when you're tower diving and you're not sure if you can hit someone. You want to click on oh. them first, make sure you got that click first, and then flash in range to get the auto attack off or something. Mm-hmm. Okay, that would have been very nice when I like was <laughs> thirsting, thirsting for uh, some pills, <laughs> honestly. Mm-hmm. Hi, Aspera, how are you doing? Welcome in. We're doing a little bit of lead coaching over here. Um, the rest of Jinx's abilities are not point and clicks, so I can't show you too much buffering. We might switch to a different champion later, but let's try to get Jinx down first. Um, it's good to one trick a champion actually when you're first starting out, so that way you learn like how to play the game itself through that character. That way you don't have to like think about what you're actually doing. And once you figure that out, then you expand to other champions, and then after that you. Uh, like polish up everything you've already accumulated over time. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you something, Helix? Yeah, what's up, okay. Esther? What's up? It seems you're leaking out. Hi, Isa. Welcome in. Yes, we are league coaching right now. All right, the next thing is how Flash interacts with certain abilities. So, I think... So press R and then immediately Flash in another direction. So like this and... Mm-hmm. Like that? Oh. So, like, cast your R. So you click as well, and then flash. So your ability doesn't have to finish the entire animation. You can already flash out of it. Some abilities can do this, some abilities cannot. Oh, I see, I see, okay. This isn't really a buffer. Flash is, this is why flash is the most important summoner spell. It's just, there's so many things you can do with it. You're a VTuber voice actor, right? Yes, I am. What's up? Uh, What's the five most OP champions Uh, right now? Oh, okay, okay. Kench, Malphite, Olaf. Are the top Holy three, shit. I think. I don't know if about five, but those three are okay. bugged, so they're very strong right now. Kench can teleport across the entire map because of a bug. Olaf can one shot people because of a bug, and Malphite right. is just ridiculously broken because his numbers are OP. It's possible for you to voice act like a dad or a brother or like a god? Maybe. Probably. I could try. <laughs> this is a clip on my Twitter if you haven't seen it already. I think that's close to like maybe one of those vibes you're thinking of. Hmm. Oh, so without the bug, so I think the game is actually quite balanced. Um, where, where is. It's much okay. better to pick a champ you're comfortable on. Actually, let me say this in the full call. Uh, someone in my chat asked, "What are the five most OP champs right now?" I picked three that are bugged. So even without the bug, don't worry about like tier list. Don't think like, "Oh, this champion's strong. I'm gonna pick that one." Mm-hmm. That only really matters in pro play. If you're playing for fun, play the champ that you're most comfortable with. Because even if it's something like it's it's better to play something you're comfortable on and be in a disadvantage than to play something you're not comfortable on that is strong it's like driving it's like giving a child a sports car to drive versus giving <laughs> an old man a uh, a car that he's comfortable driving something like that i see i see Obviously, there are certain things that you shouldn't play, like what someone in chat said, grass, Yumi jungle, that's not going to work. <laughs> that's a support with no clear, no movement, and playing that in jungle is 100% not going to work. But that's not something you should worry about too much right now. Um, Jinx traps. So I guess this is something pretty important. Don't use your traps aggressively. Traps are oh. Jinx's defensive tool. She has no movement ability to like run away from people. And if she gets jumped on by an assassin or something, then you're probably dead, right? Mm. Th- throwing traps on top of yourself, th- or throwing them, or throwing them on top of yourself, it creates like a basically like a little wall. Think of it as like a wall ability rather than like a oh I'm gonna trap someone and then kill them, beat them down. Um, so mm-hmm. what I like because like, well I remember if I remember last the last time I played Jinx, uh, basically how I would usually play her is like, if we game pushed, I would just like evade and place traps behind mm-hmm. is that like 
for me to, I don't know if it... You can, but traps take a second to activate, right? They don't, like, stun people immediately. When you throw them out, there's that brief period where they don't do anything, and then they start doing the little chomping animation. Only when they're doing the chomping animation can they actually stun people or root people. So when I so like so I would just have to like place it in front of me before I. Yeah, you could you could put it like directly on top of yourself while you're running away. You could put it if they're like farther away. You could throw it in their general direction, and it creates like a little wall. Mm -hmm. But standing on top of them and then walking over them is quite effective because no one else can walk through them, and by the time you've walked through them, they're active. Mm, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's if you're running away in a straight line, though. Um, let's say you're in the middle of the lane right now. Go to like the middle where you would be fighting. Right here. Mm -hmm. And let's say the jungler is coming from over there in the river. Where would you throw your traps? Yeah, exactly. So right there, they wouldn't be able to walk directly at you. They would have to walk all the way around the traps and take extra time. Or they get hit by the traps and that takes extra time as well. You've defended against a gank. Easy. I see. Okay. If they're already on top of you though, then you throw it in front of yourself and try to run through them or something. Mm -hmm. and other things people do you can actually just like stand on top of your traps and only stand on top of your traps or like just run circles around them and the moment someone misclicks and hits at your trap then you can run away for free because uh, that way they're okay. always in that range they always have to be careful where they're clicking it's more things for them to think about mm. um, the reason you don't throw traps aggressively is because of that activation time it takes way too long if they're stunned mm -hmm. by one of your teammates or if you're trying to catch someone who's like really close to you, don't throw it on top of them either. Throw it slightly in front of them. Even if the traps don't activate, there's a chance that they panic and like sidestep or something, and in that time you can hit them for free. Okay. Um, I don't know how to teach people how to aim abilities and skill shots, to be honest. That's kind of just preference. The way I aim is different from how other people might aim. As long as it works for you, go for it. Yeah. So, W's... There's not much I can teach about W, I don't think. Um... Overall, Jinx's kit is pretty simple, so it's a good champ to get started on. Um, I don't remember how yeah. Jinx's W interacts with Flash, actually. Uh, I was like... Oh, shit. Okay. So Jinx's W... So some abilities will always... Actually, how do I explain this? So there's three types of abilities, I think. There's the ones that can have their range extended by Flash. There's the ones that cannot get extended like your W, but it'll reposition you. So Flash W and W Flash would be very different, I think. Which one are you doing right now? I'm doing... Flash W? w, flash. w uh, yeah, W Flash. And then okay. if I do... Uh, that's, like, that's like Flash W. Okay. So... You see how even though you flashed away, the W mm. still fired from your initial location? Yeah. Some abilities are like that. It f messes with the animation a little bit and is really funky for people to dodge. Yeah. Mm. Ulti, I guess, kind of behaves the same way. Um, let's switch on to a different champion so I can show you some uh, different stuff. Go ahead and hit escape and exit game. Okay. Alright, let me... Look through the roster real quick and see who would be a good example. Actually, go to the champs that you own. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Put him in a live game. I'll probably do like a little, like a learning one v one with him or something. Oh, at no. some point. Oh no. It won't. It won't be like a serious one v one. It'll be me just kind of standing there and teaching you stuff. Let's go with. Um. Let me see. Uh, let's go with Caitlyn. I Caitlin? think Caitlyn is an okay example. Yeah, go ahead and load up the practice tool again, and we'll use Caitlyn this time. She's also an ADC, so mm. unlike Jinx, who is the chaotic one, Caitlyn's the big damage per shot, very precise one, like an actual sniper. Mm, I see. Okay. I think you said you had some interest in learning Caitlyn as well, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Kate, uh, mainly like ranged characters, because I just like the, I like the playstyle of it at least, in my opinion. Okay. Caitlyn's abilities, I'm guessing you're probably pretty familiar with them as well. 
Nah, not really. <laughs> not really? Okay. Uh, Q does damage, straight line. I'm not going to get into the details. Q is just straight line damage. W is a trap that also takes a second to activate, kind of like Jinx's, but it's single target. Uh, but she can put down multiple. E, you fly backwards and you shoot a net. And uh, your ulti is a point and click that has really long range and it's like a the ultimate sniper shot, basically. But it gets blocked by enemy champs. There's the Q. There's the W trap. There's the E. E. And the ulti you need to actually click on a target. So you can summon in a target dummy with shift S, I think. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. it was... Bam. Oh, I was mm -hmm. If your net shot hits an enemy... If it hits an enemy, then you get a free... What's called a headshot. It's a Caitlyn passive mechanic. Uh, every... I think enemies that are trapped, enemies that are hit by your net, and every couple of auto attacks charging up faster if you're standing on a bush will become a headshot. And it's basically just bonus damage. Ah, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Don't need to so think too like, hard about that one. Mm -hmm. So it's just like every time I sh shoot, and okay. Mm -hmm. So the things that I want to teach you with Flash is how they interact with her Q, her, uh, her Q and her E mostly. So hit... Q and flash. That one fires from your original position. Mm, right? Okay. So if you throw it like at the target and then flash upwards. Ooh. Oh wait. Uh Ooh. one more time. So click on the target with your Q and then flash up. You Ooh. see how it's kinda of like this ghost firing at the ability rather than yourself firing it? Yeah. You're still locked in that animation, but since your body has moved, you can Use that to like dodge abilities without having to worry about how it affects uh, where your Q is coming from, I guess. And that can throw people off. Um, this Some abilities, I know you don't have these champs unlocked, but like Ari, she throws out a charm. She blows a kiss. If it hits you, then you get charmed towards her. Abilities like that, you can actually cast the ability first and then flash in their direction. And what that does is it basically extends the range. It's firing from where you, f you finish the flash rather than where you start the flash. Okay. Uh, try the e f or try flashing after firing your net shot as well. Oh. So that's your E. Mm -hmm. So you can cancel the end of the E animation with your flash. It doesn't completely stop it but since it pushes you away mm -hmm. what you can do is like you go you could e-net someone and then flash back into them to not lose any distance okay. it'll cancel so, like, the dash part of your e mm -hmm. okay to try flashing flash will always go in the direction that your mouse is be careful putting your mouse directly on top of yourself because you can flash in place yeah there we oh, go okay. like that so having okay. good it's kind of like crosshair placement in Valorant, I guess. Good mm -hmm. mouse placement for getting your abilities ready. I personally think of League as like a rhythm game almost. Every champion has like a set of basic combos, and once you get into like the rhythm of that, you can kind of predict what people are going to do if you see them use a certain ability. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. And then I saw you did this earlier, where you, uh, you messed around with the E and the Q. Mm -hmm. So if you use both of them, Caitlyn starts her Q animation as soon as the E is finished, so that's buffering your Q through your E. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So. And then, yeah, like that. And since they're netted, they'll take bonus damage from your Q, but that's like the extra stuff that we don't need to get into yet. Um, so. Try QE rather than EQ oh. this time. All right, so then... Oh, mm. So what that one did, your Q fires and you're standing still, but the E, the activation of the E, cancels the end of the Q animation, so you're not standing there for the longest period of time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You might miss your Q, obviously, but uh, you do get, I guess, you could say arguably slightly more movement out of that. It's good for when people are chasing and stuff, but you don't have to memorize these things. It's just like, um, how do I explain this? It's good to learn how to categorize abilities, I guess. 
that way when you're put onto a new champion in a new situation you can kind of see like oh this ability is in this kind of category so it should behave similar to like how another ability behaves mm-hmm. um like caitlin's q is kind of similar to jinx w they both stand still for a period and they fire a shot so you, you can see like oh this is how i'm going to use jinx is uh this is how flash works with jinx's w so this is how it might work with caitlin's q and you could try that and Let's see right there. Thank you for the hydrate, Modi. Sorry, I'm like like trying to mess around with mm-hmm. this too. Yeah, like, it's good to mess around. Don't worry. Um, I'm trying to think if there were any other champs in your um in your owned. Who's on rotation right now? Let me see. Champions. How do I see the rotation champs? You look like on the coaching boss. All right, thank you, Shim. Thank you for the lurk. All right, champion store. I'll just Google it. League champion rotation. Today is Annie, Aphelios, Chogaf, Echo. Fizz, Garen, Jarvan, Karma, Kennen, LeBlanc. Oh! Okay. Are you okay playing mages? I have no experience, but I wouldn't mind learning. Okay. Uh, go ahead and exit out of this game. Okay. I think this will be the last little bit before we get into like a casual 1v1. Okay. So check if you have Lux. Uh, let me see. Lord, the freak. Oh, there we go. I uh, have Ash, Caitlyn, Fizz, Jinx, Morgana, Riven, Sona, and Vagar. Um, the screen's a little bit small for. Let me pull it up on your stream to see. So I'm blind. I see. Show unowned. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we do not have the free champion rotation yet. No, you're level 17. You should. What on earth? Do I not? Huh? Interesting. Or, huh. That's show unowned, so. Annie, oh, uh, yeah, 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 like, is it this one? Annie, Aphelios. Oh, Echo? I guess they are. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I think they uh, should be unlocked. Go to Lux. Uh, I think she should be unlocked as well, then. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's go into a uh, another practice tool. Mm-hmm. Uh, there we go. And go ahead and pick Lux and lock in. The way I also learned League, the way that I personally learn at least, is very hands-on, and also from watching other people, so I'll go and like, Google a montage or something and be like, oh, this is the full potential of this champion, I'm going to try to recreate that in a game or something, mm-hmm. something like that. And that's how I personally learn a lot of combos and whatnot. <clears throat> I don't know what your, I guess, like learning style is, more hands-on, more textbook. I just I just learn I just learn as I play. Honestly. As you play with more experience, hands on than I'm guessing. Okay. okay. Yeah. So go ahead and summon in a target dummy. Oh, uh, there you go. Mm-hmm. So Lux's abilities. Let's mess around with them first. So your Q throws a binding shot. Enemies that are hit by it, the first two enemies hit by it will get rooted. Your W is a shield. It'll it'll shield you and anyone hit by it, any teammates hit by it, and once it returns, it'll also shield again. Mm, okay. Your E is a circle ability, and it slows people in the area, and if you hit E again, it'll detonate it. 
Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then your ulti is a laser. Pretty okay. simple. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, her passive is that any damaging abilities will mark them with like this light effect, and your auto attack, the next auto attack alone will do bonus damage. Mm. So, so, like, mm-hmm. so say that again. Your passive marks people with damaging abilities with this like light effect. Mm-hmm. And then your next auto attack on that target will detonate that light effect and do bonus damage. It's so like if you hit your E on someone right now. Okay. And detonate it. You see how they're marked with that like light effect? Mm. When you auto attack them, it does a little bit of bonus damage. I see. Yeah, I saw that. Bad Lux players don't know how to use that. And because they're missing out on a lot of extra damage, they're like, oh, my champion's so weak or something, when in fact she's quite strong. Mm, I see. Um, Lux, my love. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Lux player in your chat? Yep, Riddle. Riddle's a Lux player? Alrighty. So, now we get into the nitty gritty stuff with Flash. So, try her ulti with Flash, firing the ulti first and then flashing. So, you see how that one's kind of similar to like Caitlyn Q. Kind of similar to Jinx's W, where even if you flash, the ability doesn't get moved along with it. If you press... Try that with Q this time. So press Q and then flash. Uh, Faster. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, Oh, whoa. That's you pressing Q first, correct? Yeah. Yeah, Q first, yeah. Mm-hmm. So Q now we see has a different effect on Flash. Instead of going in the direction, or in, instead of starting from the direction that you flashed in, it starts from where the Flash finishes. It's a little bit funky. So now you can also get a little bit extra range on it if you use Flash with it. If you throw Q in someone's direction and Flash at them, it'll shoot it even further. So like... Okay, you can fl- you can flash like directly at them too. It doesn't have to be at an angle. Um, mm-hmm. You see how that goes a lot further than if you just stood still and shot it, or if you should stood still and then fired it and then flashed or something. I see. I see. Mm-hmm. So, the I don't know what the term for this is. I just call it like flash extending, flash extension, or something. What's up? Thank you for the hydrate, Modi. Boy. Mm-hmm. There's a. Th- third type that's kind of similar to this but I don't know if we should get too deep into it that's flash transferring where you can start like a charge up ability or something in your initial location and then you can flash to move that damage somewhere else it's a little bit funky so uh so like so well, if, not with, not not with the, the yeah it doesn't work with your R but if it did work with the R then the damage should appear at the new location rather than the old location so actually, we can we can kind of test this. Go into the item shop, uh-huh. and this is not an item you would buy on Lux normally. Go ahead and sell the biscuits that you have. Where? Uh, in the bottom right. That's your inventory. Uh-huh. That's also your sell inventory, it? but I don't use that tab at all. Uh, on the bottom right. Oh, bottom. Oh. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and just click on that and click sell. Yeah, got it. Cool. Um, and go into the all items tab. And type in gore drinker, or just gore. This is not an item you would ever buy on Lux, but go ahead and buy it for now, just for demonstration purposes. If you press one, or whatever the item number is, you'll do damage in a circle and also heal yourself. Uh, you take your problem and move them so somewhere else. Yeah, basically. Like <laughs> so, the way gore drinker works is. It does damage in the circle, but even if you're outside of the circle, if you press it first and then flash somewhere, it'll transfer the damage to the targets. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh. You have to do it fast enough, though. And Gore Drinker is like one of those insta-activate things. Yeah, and don't be afraid to like just tap two things really, really fast. The game will again buffer those things up. Oh, they'll they'll queue them. Right, all the abilities will be buffered. So even if you press Gore Drinker first, it'll still be recorded by the game. I don't know what the limit is for how many things you can buffer, but it's like, I think, two or three, probably. Mm-hmm. Some abilities can be moved by that. 
I'm not going to list all of them because that's a bunch. Uh, it'll just come with like messing around with the game more and trying different things. Um, what else is there to explain? Some abilities can be used in the middle of other abilities. So like, you remember how the E has a detonate? Yeah. If you throw the E out, don't detonate it yet. Just throw it somewhere and then press ulti, and then press E. Oh, so E and ult? You can detonate your ulti, or you can detonate your E while inside of your ulti still. Oh, yeah. So E, R, E. Yeah. Oh, you that's can't, so weird. Yeah, you can't fire the E from in your ulti, but you can detonate it while in your ulti. So, uh, I see. Okay, got yeah. it. Some abilities have interactions like that. It's a little bit niche, but it's still good mm. to know. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's get into a casual 1v1 now. So go ahead and exit, and I'll invite you into a little All right, lobby. Bet. Oh, boy. He looks League Pro. Hi, Neo. How are you doing? League Pro, not even close. But Mechanics Pro, I am maybe. 21 years late for that mastering, man. I, I have, <laughs> this is my first time starting League. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to start this 1v1 in, in an ARAM map. Because ARAM, you get you start at level 3. So we have yeah. access to a few more things. Alrighty. And go ahead and pick whoever you want to. I'll probably just pick um I think <sighs> Actually who did you pick? Jinx probably? Yeah, Jinx most likely. Okay. I'll also pick Jinx so that I can kind of like mirror mirror things for you, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Also with like building items like how do you how would you what would you recommend like trying to like build Ah, so, uh, items change all the time with uh -huh. balance patches and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get a grasp of what to build, especially on a new player. Mm -hmm. So I would actually just recommend, don't think too much about it. Buy what the recommended gives you for now. The recommended okay. tab is not too bad. I see, okay. Once you get a better understanding of like how items work and what you should be building, then uh, and that's when it really, really matters. Is my league visible? It is. Okay. Awesome. Items. Doesn't really matter. Go ahead. I'm going to pick up boots and a dagger so that I can demonstrate something. And you can pick up just whatever you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I should have used the base skin because I'm using the arcane skin. Oops. But... So my movements, oh, oh <laughs> all good, all good, all good, don't worry. I've noticed that you fat finger your heal a lot as well. Yeah. So be careful with that. So yeah. the thing that you have on right now is called auto attack. Mm -hmm. Basically, whenever something gets in your range, you'll start attacking them. Even if, like, if I click here, I'll hit mm -hmm. you because I have auto attack on. Uh, I play with it on because I'm used to it. People say it's better to play with it off, but it's 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 up to you. So last hitting. Last hitting a minion gives you gold. So last hitting is very important. Knowing how much damage your ability or your auto attack does is important for last hitting. In ARAM, you get money even if you don't last hit it, but you get more if you do last hit it. So even in ARAM, it's good to last hit. So go ahead and try that for a few waves. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid to like wait for your minions to do damage before you hit it. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Raycon just like me for real, for real. Fat fingers, I'm the one who, who's very against auto attack on. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. I have to, yeah, okay, it is kind of annoying, but mm -hmm. let's see, let's see. I'll oh, oh whoa, wait, 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 I forgot. All right, so here's, the next little bit of basic information tower aggro and minion aggro so how the ai works minions every couple of seconds they're programmed to check in an area if they can hit anything 
if they can see a champion, they'll target onto the champion first in those seconds. And if they don't see a champion, then they'll target onto the nearest minion or whatever it can be hit. I see. Okay. Can I join as a team and make this a 2v1? <laughs> it's just it's just the 1v1 right now, but Teemo will probably drain EXP too, so I want to keep things even for now. Uh, the way tower works is towers will not hit you if there are minions underneath until you hit someone else. So the tower is actually quite safe unless you're trying to kill someone. People think being under tower is extremely safe or something. It's a 50-50. Um, oh gosh, I'm talking too much and I can't last hit. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Who said I was on his side? Oh no, I need to keep things even. <laughs> but um, what was I going to say? Minions will aggro onto players. So like right here, these minions are hitting the minion in front of it right now. Right. But if you hit me, then my minions will start attacking you because you hit me. Oh, okay. So and that's only you're... the case with point and clicks, though. Usually, there's exceptions, but point and clicks will draw aggro. So if minions are around, they will attack uh, targets, the like the player near nearest, and um... mm -hmm. I see. Okay. And they'll lose aggro once you walk into a bush or walk out of their range. So like, if I hit you here, your minions actually wait. They're hitting me right now. Um. So your minions are not hitting me. If I hit you, they'll start attacking me. Mm. And then if I walk into the bush, they stop attacking me because they can't see me anymore. Let's see, I see. Mm -hmm. And if I'm like standing, actually, let me stand like right here. You see these back minions? They'll, if I'm standing like right here, they'll eventually aggro onto me once mm -hmm. the minion that they're currently hitting dies or once they're re-aggro. Or once their aggro timer resets. I see. Okay. Um, there's also like a target priority list that I don't want to get too far, too too much into, when like mm -hmm. hitting monsters, hitting champions, yada yada, all that stuff. Um, what's next? Yeah, that's the basic like information dump, I guess, for League. Uh, if you ever do forget something, this goes for anyone in chat, feel free to just message me or something. I don't know much about, like, this stuff like freezing the wave, shoving the wave, uh, <laughs> knowing exactly how many minions, when to hit them, all that stuff. I, that's the boring stuff for me. I don't like the nitty gritty. I like combos. So if you ever need help with, like, mechanics and stuff, go ahead and ask me. Oh, yeah, the way tower aggro works is also kind of funky. So if I... Let me wait for these minions to walk past real quick. Mm -hmm. So if I walk under your tower, ow, ow. oh shit! <laughs> so if I walk into the tower here, yeah, I'm gonna get hit. But mm. if you, there's a way to juggle the tower aggro sort of. So if like walk in, I'm not doing it correctly. But if you walk in and walk out fast enough, the tower will target you briefly, but also not shoot. And the tower is also on a sort of cooldown. So if, let's say, the tower just recently fired a shot, it actually can't fire another shot for the seconds that that tower shot is on cooldown. It's kind of like mm. a basic attack, right? Uh -huh. It can't get it up instantly again. So you can actually walk under tower during those times, hit someone for free, and just walk out. And the tower will never hit you. I see. OK. Mm. Does, it, does it work with flash as well? What do you mean? Like, if I were to go under tower and then just flash immediately uh i think so i don't know if let me see let me try actually oh well my flash is on cooldown now i messed it up i don't know how it is uh in theory it should work since flash is just moving your character in and or from one location to another location mm-hmm Like, wait for the tower to hit something. Once that shot fires, like, stand under tower real quick. Wait for the tower shot to hit something, and then hit me and immediately walk away. Or, here, wait for the... Go ahead and clear this wave. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, fuck. Get out. Getting getting this timing might be a little funky. Actually, wait, here. I'll do it under... Wait, my, my thing is not on. Like, I won't, I'm not able to see the outline. Yeah, that's never on. Oh, it's, it's never on? Yeah, it's only on, I think, in bot games and practice tool. 
Okay, so I'm gonna Shit. go ahead and push out this wave real quick. Yeah, that's, I'm, not, I'm not doing it correctly. Okay, I'm gonna try this under your tower. Oh. So, go ahead and sit under your tower. Actually, pick up the health pack as well. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> die. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, these waves are not behaving the way that I want them to. Mm hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna get this tower under your, or get this wave under your tower. Don't hit the yeah, minions yeah. for now, so that I can stay oh. alive a little longer. All right, so right here, I'm gonna wait for the tower shot to hit the minion. Actually, wait, you're tanking the minions. Let them walk in a little bit more. All right, so right here, if I hit you, or get a little closer, uh -huh. like stand like right here. Uh, right here. Okay, that was strong. Oh my god, I'm so low. Oh gosh, go pick up the other okay. health pack actually. Okay, you guys <laughs> This is so hard to juggle. There's another health pack on your side. Oh. That's okay, it's oh, okay, it's oh, okay. Oh, this one, this one's, this one's oh, gone. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Okay, got it. Mm hmm. How you feeling? Information overload a little bit? No, 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 no. It's just my chest is uh, because I uh, worked out yesterday. My my freaking. <laughs> oh no pain, no gain. I, I'm like I'm so I'm so sore, man. <laughs> All right, I don't know if this is far enough, but I'm gonna switch to this one so that I get the bonus range as well. Mm -hmm. So tower shoots. You get ah, the sound. It made the sound because it targeted onto me, but since the shot wasn't ready yet. I basically hit you for free under your tower. Mm. Tower is not always safe. It is only sometimes safe. Um, go ahead and pick up the health pack. Yeah. We gotta keep your HP up. Do you have any questions so far? Let's go over that first. I'm honestly, um, more or less, it's kind of like I kind of got what I was just confused about initially about League. Okay. down but it's just more more or less like it's just a lot of things i just gotta learn by just playing the game mm -hmm. but i'm more or less confused than i was before <laughs> so the thing about pressing s to stop your animations and stuff you remember that part right mm -hmm. so here's the other thing you can do so if i'm oh my bad so you can actually stop your auto attacks as well so if i'm gonna hit something here mm -hmm. It looks like I'm about to auto attack, but that's me pressing S to actually stop the auto attack instead of waiting for the full animation to play, or at least the damaging part of the animation to play. Mm, okay. So S can stop everything, basically. Okay. And then this is so, uh, canceling the. Uh, what's it called? The movement part? Or using a movement to cancel the, uh, the end of your animation? Kind of looks something like this. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't have to wait for the. Oh, there you, you got it! You got it! You got it! Very good! Very good! I'm kind of just like alternating, um, alternating move and attack, move and attack. Mm -hmm. Right click. Yeah. I see. So if I'm running away from someone or trying to dodge their abilities mid fight, this is what I would do. Boom! 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 Thank you for the hydrate, Modi. Ow. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the fuck out. <laughs> Not this guy throwing an ult at me under bush. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> no, it's all good. All good. Oh no. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't really have like a lesson plan. It's more just like just mess yeah, around I'm... with stuff until. Yeah. yeah. Um, let me see. I think that's honestly it. There's, that's the basics. I think that's the basics. Um, I guess we can go over items for a little bit if you want to. Uh, yeah, just for a brief. brief. Okay. So, um. No, less. Yeah, this is 
Well, Helis is a terrible uh, sensei, man. Come on. <laughs> Lesson uh, plan? What's that? 3 out of 10 was less confused than before. Could have been better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, like, legit. I've actually, like, you talking about this actually, like, solved a lot of my um, confusion about this game. That's good. I'm glad to hear so. that. <clears throat> Alright, items. So, Jinx is an ADC. Her damage is her pew-pews, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to find things that enhance the pew-pews, which would be more damage and movement speed, maybe, and attack speed and crit. All right. So mm -hmm. uh, if you go to all items, mm -hmm. there is oh. a bit at the bottom, the mythics. Mythic items kind of determine, like, your, quote, play style, I guess, and you can yeah. only buy one, no matter what class it's from. Uh, since you're an ADC or a marksman, we'll buy one under the marksman tab. Um, I think I would stick to either Kraken or Shieldbow for now, because Gale Force has a active effect where you have to press the number to use it as well. It gives mm. you, like, a free dash, basically. It's really good, but if you're not used to it, it's a little... If you're not going to use it, it's useless. You might as well not buy it then, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Kraken is anti-tanks, and uh, Shield Bow is sustain and a little bit of tankiness. I think... Yeah, if you go to recommend it, it has those three right now, and it'll tell you generally good, generally good, good against. Don't look at the good against. That's usually incorrect. Just pick one of the three. <laughs> RNG, okay. it doesn't matter. Um, other things that give it attack speed and damage and crit... It's so like Infinity Edge is really good. Infinity Edge is like the core ADC crit item. Um, what else? How do you feel about uh, ru ru uh, was was it either Rapid Fire Cannon or no? It was the one with the, like the extra extra attacks, Runons, Runons yeah. Hurricane. Yeah. That is a flavor item, as I would like to call it. Um, like I pick it up on basically every ADC that has on hit effects. Which mm -hmm. is like when you auto attack, it procs an effect. Mm. Almost every ADC that uses on hit effects will use runons or can use it well, but you don't have to use it. Because mm. um, the item itself, if you look at the stats, it only gives you attack speed and crit and movement speed. It doesn't give you bonus da damage, damage per se. Okay, so see. if you're hitting the same person and you're only hitting like one person, it's quite useless, right? You're not, the extra bolts don't work, they don't do anything. So. I see. Yeah. Do you so you recommend damage over attack speed? Because because I've I've last time I've kind of like focused more on attack speed rather than just like trying to. Kind of, so. Mm -hmm. I think League is a very logical game. I think people <laughs> kind of autopilot and don't really think about things, so. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm just going to ask you questions and you're going to answer them, and by answering them you'll learn. All right. Mm -hmm. ARAM is kind of chaotic. You've played it a couple times. And people yeah. are usually always in range and always in your face, right? Mm -hmm. Very few times are they, like, super far away from that map and killing you. Mm -hmm. Do you need extra range? No. Correct. Fire Cannon, its passive effect is that it gives you bonus range on an attack every once in a while. Mm -hmm. I see people building Fire Cannon a lot. Is Fire Cannon the correct choice in ARAM, specifically? Yes? No? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Alright, I don't know if my wording was confusing or anything. It might have been, because I'm not the best at wording things. <laughs> but the way that I think about it, personally, is Fire Cannon, its purpose is range. Mm -hmm. ARAM, I don't need range. Therefore, I don't need to buy fire cannon because the range is kind of useless. Mm, I would rather right. buy an item that gives me, like, bonus damage as well, like Phantom Dancer. Mm -hmm. uh, Stat-wise, it gives... What is it? A little tiny bit less attack speed, but it also has an effect where if I hit things a lot, then it gives me bonus attack speed as well. And it's great mm -hmm. for a character like Jinx. So 90% oh, of the time, Phantom Dancer will be better than fire cannon in ARAM specifically. I see, I see. Uh, other things are like, oh, if enemy team has too much healing, then I'll buy the ant the item that reduces their healing. Moral reminder. Right. If I need healing, 
then I'll just buy an item that gives me lifesteal. Pretty straightforward, linear thinking. Um, knowing what each item does specifically is something you'll have to figure out in your own time, I think, because there's a lot of items and there's a lot of effects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. Like, if an yeah. enemy champion is very tanky and they're building a lot of armor, Jinx's attacks do mostly attack damage. That's a lot of armor. Well, armor will reduce that damage that you do. So I might buy something like Lord Dominic's Regard. It gives armor penetration. So I'll do oh. I'll reduce that armor effect and I can still hit them for more damage. Um, or Blade of the Rune King does percent health damage. If they have a lot of HP, then percent HP counters HP. So I would buy yeah. that instead. So there's no real correct way to build. No real, like... You have to build this strictly. It's game to game, but generally, items that you would want to pick up. Uh, one of the mythics, obviously. Uh, you'll want to pick up Berserker's Greaves because they give attack speed. Those are the boots. And you also want to pick up Infinity Edge. That's the core one. Infinity Edge okay. is extremely important on the ADCs that need crit, okay. since it enhances your crit autos. Um, let me see. So, like, an example full build that I would do, I guess, for, like, general use. You don't have to memorize this one. It's like, Gale Force, because I like the active effect. Boots. Boots is always good second item. Mm. And then Infinity Edge only activates its passive effect when you have 40% crit chance, at least. Yeah. So, I might buy that second. Or if I want more attack speed first, I might buy, like, uh, Phantom Dancer into Infinity Edge. Or Runons into Infinity Edge problem with buying runons is that I won't get the it doesn't give me any damage so I'm going to be a little bit weaker and I have to play knowing that I'm going to be a little bit weaker Jinx's early game is quite weak as well so she's like a late game monster early game she's kind of whatever okay Rekka I need to study tonight also Rekka League of Legends Ooh. <laughs> to learn with this game. yeah League is less straightforward than Valorant for sure Valorant, it's like every other shooter. Enemy, move around. I click on enemy, they die. I click on enemy head, more damage, they die. Yeah. League is like, oh, I need to study items, matchups, abilities, uh, aggro ranges, this, that. Uh, yeah. Whatever this cat sitting on a book does. All that stuff. Why can't this champion buy boots? Why can't this champion buy um, this item over that item? All that stuff. It's a lot mm. to take in. Uh why is this tower smacking me right now? <laughs> Even things <laughs> like that. Um, so it's kind of a knowledge check, if anything. You don't have to get good at mechanics in League. You just have to know a lot of things, and the more you know, the more you can be prepared for, I guess, in every situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like, um, like yeah, I mean, like, the times I've played League, like, with my, my friends, it's just like, ah. Uh, you, your abilities do this your abilities do that do that i mean like yeah i i, I understand but it's like it's just, it's just it's just a big learning curve mm -hmm. but time investment is another thing because like the more you do things the more you kind of like figure it out naturally over time right mm. League is kind of like that, where you don't actually have to sit down and like flip through a textbook and be like, okay, I need this this champion does this, and I'm going to sit down and memorize this for today's lesson or something. Just yeah. play the game. The more you play, the more you'll naturally learn over time. It's a little bit slower, but you can keep the information that way. This champion has this big ability that always messes me up. The next time I see this champion, I'll know. Wait for them to use that big ability before I do something, or something like that. Mm -hmm. This champion is stopping my dashes. So I'll wait for them to use this ability before I use a dash into them next time. Uh, what else? Even the pros are always learning new things as well. There's this really funny clip where a pro player didn't... I think they, they ended up carrying their game, and they didn't even know what their champion's ultimate did. <laughs> oh no. Or they knew what it did, oh. but like not the, not the details of it. And that clip went viral, obviously, because they're like, wait... You're a pro player. You're doing so well. How do you not know these things? And people are pretty stunned by that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. I think that's all for 
the basic stuff, honestly. There isn't really too much else. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run you down right here. Don't be as scared. Just hit me back. You have an HP advantage. You have an item advantage in terms of damage. Okay. Uh, I might go for the kill. I just want to see how you'll react in a situation like this, I guess. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, nice. I don't know if I can get it. No. Uh, I didn't. I already used my ult already. Oh, I missed my thing. <laughs> I forget, but like my uh, my mm -hmm. little zap thing, like it hits minions too. So mm -hmm. it's just annoying. Modi, you have a question. What is your question? I'm gonna keep open mic here so that maybe everyone can learn from it. Can I get a smooch? That's not a question. That's not relevant hey, to the league. Hey yo! <laughs> what the? <laughs> teacher, teacher, student. That's not. That's kind of. That's not allowed. <laughs> that's not allowed. I thought it was gonna be league relevant. I really thought it was gonna be league relevant. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you know. That actually, that reminded me of something. So, mm -hmm. my W is a straight line ability. Mm -hmm. If I am aiming at you, right? Actually, wait. If I'm... Minions, go away. Go away. Okay, if I'm, like, standing right yep. here and aiming directly at you, mm -hmm. which way should you dodge to avoid my ability? Yeah, perpendicular, right? Perpendicular is the shortest distance to get out of the hitbox. Run perpendicular. I see a lot of people trying to run away in a straight line, or even flash in a straight line away. Yeah. And what happens is they're still within range of that line, so they get hit by it, and they die. They're like, oh my gosh, I flashed. I can't believe I did something so silly like that. Perpendicular is the best way to dodge. Maybe at an angle if you're trying to run away as well. But yeah. And also things like... What the hell? Oh my gosh, your old cooldown is so short. Things like stutter, stutter stepping. Left, right, left, right. That can help dodge skill shots as well. Um, moving in strange, unpredictable ways. I like to run at people to dodge abilities, because no one expects you to run at them when you're trying to run away from them. Stuff like that. How would you... So, like, another thing I'm kind of, like, worried about is, like, mana man management and, like, how just to maintain um, mm -hmm. a decent amount of mana so I don't, like, get into a very sticky situation. Oh, I'm dead here. Nice. So... With mana management on Jinx, it's don't overuse your abilities and don't use your abilities to last hit minions. Mm -hmm. If I throw a W randomly at someone, I might do a little bit of damage to them, right? Let's say we're actually max level here, so it'll do like 400, but level one, Jinx's W does 10 damage. Okay. That's not a lot. In three seconds, they're going to have all that damage healed up again. It's 10, 10 base damage plus whatever scaling. So mm -hmm. maybe like, let's say 30 damage or something? I don't know. It's not a lot. So don't bother using it. Use it more for the slow rather than the damage. That way you don't have to use the mana for it either. Same with the traps. Traps cost 90 mana right now. Uh, I think it's 90 mana throughout the whole game. Late game you could be more generous because you have a lot more mana to work with, but early game you don't have that much mana to work with, so don't throw your traps out unless you really, really need them. Uh, same with your rockets. Rockets cost mana. Regular auto attacks do not. The minigun does not cost mana. So use the minigun more often. I see a lot of Jinx players using the rockets all the time, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But use it for like hitting multiple targets. If it's just one target, just use the minigun. It's more damage. Mm, okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh shit, I need to refill on water. I'll mm -hmm. be right back. Give me one second. Yep. Uh, da -da. Where's my thing? Any questions, class? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh no, 
I think this game might actually end. Oh, did I get that? Was that a hydrate? I might missed. Can you flash using Caitlyn ult? Yes, you can. Caitlyn ult's a point and click. So you click on someone and she automatically locks onto them. But you can flash away from your initial standing position and the ulti will still go through. Since it gets body blocked by enemy champs, you can actually flash like around them, in front of them or something to guarantee that shot hits as well. To change like the direction the ult was coming from. Ulti will always originate from Caitlyn's original location. Or her uh, current location. My bad. General rule of thumb, you can flash, I think. So like when I press W, there's this is more advanced, but there's like a loading bar here. Zap! All right, Q, I press it, there's no loading bar. E, if I throw it out, there's no loading bar either. So abilities like E don't interrupt, but abilities like W will interrupt. Um, so like I can use my E as soon as the uh, W is over. I think that was, that was W, E. So my W had to finish before my E. But if I press E, W, I can throw them and my W goes first, so ability order kind of matters like that. Abilities that don't have the loading bar, you can use for free. Abilities that have a loading bar, they have to be buffered and used first. Okay, like my favorite marksman at Mobile Legends. Mobile Legends? Caitlin. Mobile Legends. Oh, welcome back. I'm back, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there was oh, one more thing that Modi brought up that I just realized I could teach on Jinx. Oh! Yeah. yeah. Oh, did it get in? That's okay. <laughs> Um, I don't know how I would set this up, but if I was to demonstrate something in practice tool, would you be able to see it, or would I have to like screen share as well? I can I can look at screen share. I can just pull up the Discord. Okay. Uh, let me load it into a thing real quick. On top of items, there's also runes to learn, which is going to be its own beast to tackle. There's a lot of people that just use like the automatic runes because learning runes is a pain in the butt. <laughs> I never understood the entire thing with runes. Mm -hmm. Like, what are they specifically? They're tools that change your playstyle, kind of. Mm -hmm. So... Um... Like, Jinx usually takes lethal tempo, I think. Yeah. Which is, every auto attack gives you more attack speed. It ramps up, and then once it's fully ramped up, you also get range. Mm -hmm. um, and you also lose the attack speed cap, which is 2.5 attack speed. Mm -hmm. And Jinx shoots a lot and shoots very fast, so this one's really good for her. Something like Conqueror, which is every time you hit someone, you get bonus attack damage and bonus healing as well. That yeah. one's not as good on her, because Conqueror... You have to stack more as a ranged character. You lose stacks faster as a ranged character. Mm -hmm. And Jinx prefers attack speed over that damage. So I see. Okay. Yeah. What was the other thing? The other thing I can show you at level 2. So if I press W, you see how there's like that loading bar here that says zap? Mm -hmm. uh, same with ulti. Let me just get this. If I press ulti, super mega death rocket. It shows that bar and then yeah. fires the ability. Boom, boom. If I press E, there isn't a bar. If I press mm. Q, there isn't a bar. So loaded abilities versus instant abilities. E is an instant one, and W is a loaded one. I don't know what the terminology for it is either. That's just what I'm calling it for teaching sake right now. Yeah. The way that interacts is if I press W and then press E. So this is me tapping, oh. right? Two clicks. I didn't press E the second time. Well, I didn't press E when she fired it out. I pressed it around the same time. The E gets buffered after the W. It gets queued mm -hmm. up after the W, so it'll always fire it once my W finishes. Yeah. If I press E, W, and then right click, it'll switch out the E with the movement command instead, so I didn't fire the E out. I moved mm -hmm. after the W was finished. But the reason W fired and had to completely finish before my E could cast is because the W has that loading bar. All right. Only after that loading bar is done can the E fire. Uh, if I do it the okay. other way around. Uh oh. What's up? 
No, 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 no. I was just, I was just trying to say like, so that's what you mean by buffer is like it's literally just the like, order of commands that you can just put in. Mm -hmm. If I do it the other way around, E doesn't have a buffer time. It'll fire instantly, so I don't have to wait for the animation. If I press E W, it looks like that. I see. The E instantly comes out, and I start my W as well. Um, so W E versus E W. It's the exact same thing, but also completely different based on mm -hmm. the order in which you input those. Same with like E ulti versus ulti E. As soon as the rocket leaves, that animation is over. So as soon as that rocket leaves, I can also start moving. W, as soon as the W leaves the gun, I can start moving. Mm. E, I can just click here and it doesn't interrupt anything. I clicked once on the map, like let's say I click to the tower here, right? Yeah. I'm gonna walk there. I can fire as many E's as I want to in this duration and it won't interrupt my movement at all. Same with flash. Flash will not interrupt that either. Oh. I lied. Flash is <laughs> I guess flash does interrupt it. Sometimes. It's a little bit funky. League is buggy. Mm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Modi asks Oh yeah, is there equipment that does apply anti-heal upon skill cast for like mid laner support? Anti-heal armor that triggers when attacked, like tanks? And is there a fully upgraded item that helps with mana regen? Yes, there is all of those. ADCs have to watch out for a specific item called Thorn Mail, where oh. if you attack someone who has that item, you'll have an anti-heal effect applied to you, and you'll also take a little Ooh. bit of reflected damage. Mm, okay. It's not too much. But some champs use it better than others, and that's one of them. Um, the way to counter this is literally just don't attack that target. Hit someone else before you hit them. Okay. Make them the last one standing, and then kill them with your team. Mm -hmm. um, Anti-heal upon cast for mages, Moral and Amicon. Uh Damaging magic abilities apply... Or magic damage in general applies anti-heal. Anti-heal is called Grievous Wounds in League. Um but if you type in like anti, does it not work anymore? Oh, oh, I guess no. not. Heal. Oh gosh, that's too many items then. I guess not. Grief. Really? Oh wow. The item shop has like some Easter eggs, like Blade of the Rune King. Of the, no one wants to type that in. It's too long. League players have nicknamed Blade of the Rune King Bork. B O R K. So if I type in Bork. It also shows up. Uh -huh. Or like uh, Infinity Edge is called IE. If I type that in, it's not the most efficient way to get to it, but it's also right there. Um, Derpy Chevon, hello, welcome in. Soup. Soup. What is. Wh 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 why are we? Soup. <laughs> uh, coaching. Alright, so. What else is there? Um. Let me see if there's any with ADC items. BT, Bloodthirster. If I type BT, it'll show up. Uh, Lord Dominic's Regard, LDR. It'll also pop up. Yeah. And there's a few like Easter egg ones that I don't quite remember, but they're like, if you put in a certain person's name or something, then that item associated with that person might pop up. Um, just got destroyed because ADC fed. Oh no, 112? Oh no. What do you ask? Is DNA one? No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool though. Um, the oh shoot, I was gonna say one thing that was very important. Oh, this one's not as relevant to Eureka, but for older players, some items get their names changed as well. So like, Hextech Rocket Belt used to be called Hextech Proto Belt, um. or just Proto Belt for short. So if I type in Proto Belt. It still shows up because they wanted to accommodate for the older players something like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i'll do one last little bit with ability animations and stuff have you ever tried playing rexi support i have not i don't play rexi very much i am a riven main practice tool um I think Yasuo is an okay one to show. 
you might encounter quite a few Yasuo's just because he's a very popular champ. Yeah. But also hate him. <laughs> fucking annoying to play against. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Yasuo has a decent display of mechanics that can be helpful to learn from. It's fun if you build full tank. Ooh. I might try that. What, what, what build did you go? That sounds interesting, actually, because Brexley has true damage as well and decent CC. Good uh, good engage support, probably. 1.2k stacks on hard steel? Holy shit. Hard steel is so broken. Alright, so... Is my screen share working? I think it is, right? Looks like it. Alright. Let's max this out. Max this out. Let's grab this and this and toggle those toggle those okay so Yasuo's basic abilities is Q straight line damage it counts as an auto attack if I hit it two times the third one becomes a tornado windwall is the one that you have to watch out for as an ADC it blocks projectiles so your auto attacks will get blocked Jinx ulti will get blocked it'll eat it right up it does not block tower shots though. He also has E as a dash. I cannot dash onto the same target because of that circle there. It's like the cooldown per target. But I can dash through like multiple targets quickly. And then if I use it with the Q, his Q turns into a spin rather than a straight line. And the third one is a knockup still. And the ulti is any knocked up targets, he does like this attack on them. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. So pretty simple stuff. Um, so you can do stuff like transferring flash. Hi Jin, how are you doing? One second. Uh, Modi, if you're there, can we get a shout out for Jin, please? Oh. Jin is super, super awesome, and he's a great voice as well. Can we get a shout out for Jin, please? Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. Oh. Thank you for the hydrate and the posture check. Yeah, I thought you. I thought you cut off. Oh no no no. How are you doing today? Thank you, Modi. So, I don't mean you also, by the way. <laughs> Uh, Q can also be combined with Flash, like that. So I can transfer the damage. If I just use Flash, or I just use Q here, it won't hit. But if I Q Flash, it'll hit. Thank you for the shout out. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Um, abilities like E is a point and click, so I can buffer it if I press E on this target and then Flash. I'll instantly yeah. dash through it. There's no way to miss that, unless they're out of their range by the time I flashed in. I see, okay. Um... Here's where we get into the really, really funky stuff. So I can use EQ and knock up this target, but if I want to hit here, sometimes I might like dash through them. Like here my Q spin completely missed because I dashed too far. Mm -hmm. Like that. So you can actually do things like EQ flash to transfer that knock up. I dashed Ooh. onto this target over here, but I've knocked up this target instead or vice versa. Mm -hmm. Like that. You can also do things to flash in place. So like if I just EQ normally, it's kind of slow. If I use flash, it's actually faster. Like that. Mm. It's There's so many different like little mechanics in the game. And this is the stuff that I personally like looking into and specialize in, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to learn all of these. These are just flavor things. People don't usually do these in game. You don't need these to win. But having the knowledge is better than not having it, usually. Yeah. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. There's also certain bugs, I guess. I don't know if I want to get into bug abusing. <laughs> but, like, you also has E as an ability that you're only supposed to target on enemies. You can't target yeah. it on yourself or allied minions. But for some strange reason, if you combine it with Prowler's Claw... Oh, shoot. Actually, let me do this one first. So, actually, wait, wait, wait. before we get into that, some more stuff. If I want to use Wind Wall on Yasuo, I can E dash and then Wind Wall. It's kind of slow. If I E Q and then press Wind Wall, it's a lot faster for some reason. E W versus E Q W. If I use it with Prowler's Claw instead of E Q W, I have to do E W Q for some reason. But what that lets me do is... Actually, wait, that was wrong. These are too far apart, maybe. Uh... 
I can transfer the circle part of the damage onto this target without using flash. Mm -hmm. And the way that I input that is I rolled my fingers across EWQ instantly, boom, and then pressed Prowler's Claw on this target before any of that finished. So I buffered, I queued up all four of these abilities in basically one second. If you do it too slow, it won't work. I see. So that's how ability buffering is. And it works with the knockup as well. I can do something funky like that. And the way with the multi dash, or I guess the self dash. Ah! This is not the most reliable technique, but. Yeah. I damage and dash to myself. <laughs> yeah, you get into like all these really, really funky, strange mechanics and bugs and whatnot. Jesus Christ. It becomes yeah. an entire mess to learn. But. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Some abilities, they don't really say it. Like, you also just says teleport to an airborne enemy and hold all airborne enemies up. But you see how the targeter is kind of. Like this giant circle around me. Yeah. And then there's a little circle on the inside. If I change it to normal cast real quick and press R like that, mm -hmm. I can only knock up and hold things in this circle in this area. So if someone's like knocked up out of range, yeah. I can't teleport out there. But if this target is. Or let's say there's like multiple targets knocked up, I can use this circle to knock up. Again, all these targets here, but if it's like only one like that, I can only suspend one target. So the difference is this holds both of them again, mm -hmm. right? Versus oh wait, that didn't work. Um, it's a little bit weird. Maybe these two are too close. Let's see. That one only held one, despite both of them being in the circle. Yeah. Because I targeted it more like this, I guess, rather than this. Mm -hmm. Animation cancels canceling for autos can be done. Oh yeah. That's something I should probably explain to you also as well. So animation canceling your auto attacks with your abilities. Jinx can kinda do this as well. If I fire an auto attack and use my W immediately, both will go off around the same time, but the W activation cancels the end of your um the end of your auto attack. So on Yasuo, it would look something like this auto attack is kind of like this boom, 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 mm -hmm. boom, boom. That's the rhythm. If I use my Q to cancel that, I, I missed the auto there. Uh, boom, boom. Then I, I can go back to the regular auto attacking boom, 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 boom. I'm not really losing any valuable time in doing so, I just get free damage for the mm -hmm. same amount of time that I put into it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really, really important on ADCs, because they're auto-attacking so often, you want to squeeze in your auto-attacks in between abilities and your abilities in between auto-attacks, and yada yada yada, information dump, all that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? I think... I think that's about it. I don't think I have anything more in the basics department to teach. Um, oh, actually, most important one I forgot. Uh -huh. So remember how, what I said about wards being able yes. to go over walls? So flash is kind of the same way. Your character cannot be inside of the wall, right? And this is the flash range. It's a lot less mm -hmm. than the ward range. So... The weird thing about flash is that I can flash over this wall right here, despite the range not being enough. Oh. Because, again, the way flash works is I'm targeting right here. And since I can't be inside the wall, it squeezes me onto the other side of the wall. Mm -hmm. But the specific thing is that like, if I try to flash here, it won't work. Because it has to be at least past the halfway point of the wall since that way you're closer to the other side. If I'm clicking right here, I won't go over the wall. But if I click right here, I will go over the wall. 
So mouse placement for flash is very important. Um, flashing, since flash basically chooses an area in this circle to teleport to, if you click on yourself, you'll flash in place. Mm. So some people, they're like auto attacking over here and they fat finger their flash while trying to run away or something. To flash backwards and still be facing this way, you would have to, or still attacking this way, you have to move your mouse here and then quickly shoot it back up here again. So a lot of yeah, yeah. fast mouse movement. Mm -hmm. Unlike in Valorant, where you might be playing with a lower sensitivity, having a higher sensitivity in League could help. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what else is there? Orbs, items, abilities, auto cancels. I think that's about it. I guess some other common sense things. Which is why I say League is like a logic, common sense game. Yeah. If there's five people on the on the enemy team, and there's five people on your team, and you fight, that's kind of a coin flip fight, right? It's 50-50. Yeah. Anyone could win. Mm -hmm. Similar concept in Valorant. If there's, I mean, it's a little bit in Valorant because it's different in Valorant because you could just one shot someone. Yeah. But even in a gunfight, you should always be trying to force the one v one, right? Mm -hmm. Take an angle that exposes yourself to only one person rather than their whole team. Um, if you want to, if you want to, I can explain my very funny and fun Rex I support build. It's too addictive. Uh, yeah, sure. If you type it in chat, I'll take a look at it. Um, in League, it's kind of the same way. If you're one person and you see like two people, three people, four people on the other side, fighting yeah. them is kind of a death sentence, right? There's yeah. a very low chance, especially if you're going even, that you're going to kill them. If you're ahead, sure, by all means, go for it. Limit test. I don't care. YOLO it. If you can count to five, and you know the difference between four and five, four people fighting five people, there's a higher chance for the five to win, because it's a bigger number. So yeah. is that a good fight? Probably not. All right. I see a lot of people still taking those unfavorable fights all the time, because they're just on that autopilot mode and don't really think. Yeah. But that's something, especially as a beginner, take that into account. Um, mm -hmm. Numbers matter. Um... If you don't trust a teammate, just pretend they don't exist. Don't count them in that number. If you're fighting a 5v5, but one of your teammates is really far behind, really bad, basically don't exist, it's a 4v5. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a 5v5. That's a 4v5. <laughs> I see, I see. Um, right. Yeah. I think that's all for this. Honestly, I don't have anything else to add. <laughs> Well, I guess I have to start playing then. <laughs> Let's get ready to game. <laughs> right now? I mean, if you want to. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm just chilling. I'm, oh, I mean, boy. I, I, I kind of got like, I kind of got the basics down. Yeah. I think. I'm but... down to jump into like a quick ARAM or something. I probably only have time for one more before I gotta go. Yeah, no, you got no worries, no worries. Yeah, I'm just chilling. I just, I just, I also just, I really just wanted to learn, mm -hmm. and the fact that you invited me was pretty, pretty cool. The fact that you took up my offer is also really cool. I don't what? think people don't like mechanic stuff. They're just like, I just want to play the game to have fun. I don't care about learning. I just want to throw I, my face at it. <laughs> one thing about me is like, when when a game with a game, I really want to like learn how to play properly. So it's mm -hmm. just like, you know what? Why the fuck not? Let me actually learn a game that I really suck at. <laughs> or I just don't know how to play. Honestly, valid. And have you teach me? Alrighty, let's jump right into one, I suppose. Actually, should I? S I might switch onto a different account since. Yeah, no worries. No Alright. The freaking Elo. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um, I think that's the password for this one. I hope to God I really don't have like. My freaking arms hurt so much. No pain, no gain. Bro, <laughs> fucking sore. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I look. I want to get the massage gun. A oh, massage gun? I have mas I, like my my uh my roommate has the massage gun. Ooh. And I'm like, I look at my just my just motor <laughs> motor and just like point it to, directly to my chest and just like go ham because like right now it's it's so fucking sore. Mm -hmm. um, 
Oh yeah, the twelve thousand HP Cho'Gath. I guess twelve thousand HP Cho'Gath kind of counts as two people, Smurfs, right? Who are you? He looks. He looks never Smurfs. Who are you? I am teaching. I'm not gonna play like a Smurf. I'm gonna teach. I think. I'll try. You think? You think? I will attempt. Um. Let me. Wait. What was your? IG on Rekka, Rekka, I, uh, Rekka Ignite, just with one A and the I is lowercase. R E K A, a underscore, underscore I Ignite. Ignite. It was a. It's my old old ass uh, username before I even started. Mm -hmm. Did you get the friend request? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, there's your... Heels. This is an account I made to learn Lee Sin, so I named it Heal Lee X, but uh, oh. it's, it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's jump right into one. Oh gosh, oh, why is... Okay, I... yeah, League Voice is also something that's on by default. I would recommend it, it disabling that because no one really uses it. Yeah. So you can just hit the little microphone thing, hit mm -hmm. the gear button, and then uncheck join the voice channel automatically, and it should be okay. Um, let's see, what else is there? Even now I'm trying to think of things that could potentially be important to know. Um, just play the game. Just play the game. Honestly? Just play the game. <laughs> yeah, just throw yourself at the game. Uh hmm. How long did it take you to learn Valorant and like learn what all the agents do? Um Valorant was easy for me because I played CSGO previously. Mm. But with agents and like the powers, it took me like a bit. Um Basically, like it took me like a month to get adjusted to like the playstyle. Okay, Cause... that's not too bad. Yeah, because with CS, like I, I was mainly focused on the gunplay, and mm. then that took me like at least three months to like at least be decent properly with like CS Valorant style gunplay. Mm -hmm. But then adding the fact that like oh yeah, you have abilities, you have like <laughs> flashes, you have people who can jump high, who can dash, and like. People who can fly and turn invisible and yeah. this and that. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, no. Mm -hmm. But I learned to adapt. It's just like, um, I I do see myself as like a more FPS oriented type of gamer. Mm -hmm. Like I have, I've never really gotten to like, um, ability based mo stuff. Mo like, yeah, MOBAs and all mm -hmm. that. That's fair. I don't know. But I, I really want to get into it because I know like a lot of my friends do play like League and. Mm -hmm. I would like to learn, but it's just like I don't want to feel like I'm dragging them down because I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But like this gives me like a better general gist of like what to do or what to expect. Did you ever play Overwatch? Yes, I do. I do play Overwatch. How often do you play Overwatch? Um, just just when I feel like it. When you feel like it, okay. Like, right. um, I'm who not you, bad at it. Who do you play I'm in Overwatch? Not... Huh? Who do you play in Overwatch? Widow, um, Widow, Soldier, Sombra, oh. uh, a uh, Ash, uh, there's one more, there's one more person I usually like play. Mainly Ooh, DPS. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I guess that comes from like the, the shooter background as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to be, but, but even before, like I was, a, I was a very stupid Genji main. I played Genji main. <laughs> I even I even have like a, like a like a really good Genji skin. I don't even play Genji anymore. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. I yeah. am the resident Genji main, so don't hey. you worry. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I I, mm -hmm. I also play Hanzo. Oh, Hanzo's so hard to play. I can't figure yeah. him out for the life of me. It, it, you just gotta you just gotta you just gotta like lead your shots. I'm I'm cause like. Mm -hmm. Technically, my first FPS game was uh, Battlefield, so like I did sniping a lot, and I did have to oh. my shots. So that's where I get like a lot of my, uh... yeah. Overwatch collab stream when? Overwatch collab stream when? Yo, Valorant collab. I mean, 
You should teach me Valorant. I'm terrible yeah, at Valorant. I, I, I can <laughs> AO, AO play. I, would, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I... <laughs> My shooter background comes from more fast-paced stuff like Paladins, Overwatch, mm. ability-based shooters like that. So I'm not too familiar with like, like the whole stand still and shoot thing did not make any sense to me for the longest time. Yeah, no, like those games, Val and CS are just those. Hell, I had to get so used to it. Like, oh, I was used to second wind and shoot type of game style. Speed, previously. armor, armor. I added attack start with shoulder guard as like one of my uh, heart steel, like cleaver, like warmog, titanic, steric, storm mill in it's, that it's, order. It's it's just so much you have to learn. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's like kind of uh, like bruiser, uh, but like it's like bruiser leaning tank rex. Uh, oh no, they're not giving you the. They're not giving me jinx. No way. <gasps> go, go, go. Nice, let's go. <laughs> you got it, let's go. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, no, like, so. I was like back in high I'm a big fan. Hi, Haru. Can we get a shout out for Haru, please? Because, like, you know what? How are you I'm doing? Cool. I like, I really, because, like, uh, they invited me to, like, yeah, Derpy? I'm for Chevron? Like, Chevron or Derpy? Which one, one do you prefer? Of, like, one I'm gonna have to try the build out sometime. At the time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I really like this character. Let me, I, I wish I could, if I played more, and, like, my friend bought it. I was like, oh, you know what? Sure, here. So I was like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> but then they never touched it ever again. <laughs> but, yeah. I do be like that. Thank you, Modi. But yeah, no, I would love to play over. Derpy is fine. Okie dokie. Or like any like any other stuff with you in the future if you ever would be down. Oh yeah, hell yeah, always. I'll be honest, I'm mostly on the hunt for finding more people that play League. Mm -hmm. But I do want to learn how to get back into Valorant because that's that game just pisses me off so much. <laughs> <laughs> Getting it, shot and then not being able to play for the rest of that round. Ugh, pain. So much pain. Uh, there's actually a game that's coming out soon. It's called um, The Finals. I don't know if you saw me play it. Play it. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one you were in the, the beta test for, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like a mix of, like, Overwatch, Apex, and all that. I, feel, I don't know if that would be, like, your type of play style, because it's, like, very team-oriented, team and... Mm, I feel maybe. Like, I feel, like, I feel maybe. like that would be a good, good thing that you would like to get into. I'd be down to try it. But yeah, like for me as well, like I would love to learn how to play League, and I would like to play more often. Because mm -hmm. I know damn well I'm not gonna play this by myself. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna solo queue for shit. Nah, don't worry, me too. I don't think I've ever solo queued League actually. Okay, should I play like an idiot? Maybe not. Do, do it. Oh, stop. Okay, maybe I should try a little bit. I don't know. So like this Tristana right there, she jumped into five people. It confirmed the kill, but normally that's pretty risky to do. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this just for free kills. Uh, you don't usually want to jump into multiple people until you've like learned. Or like you know how um, I don't know if you if you shoot someone in Valorant, you kind of like have an estimate for like how much damage you did to them yeah, without yeah, even yeah. thinking anymore. But like when you're first learning the game, it's like, oh, this shot does this amount of damage. This shot does that amount of damage. Mm -hmm. Or like I can tank this ability without dying, stuff like that. League is kind of the same way. You'll get a feel for like how much damage you can do. I see. Here's another example. These guys are fighting a two v four essentially. They're gonna die, or at least. I'm rooted. Oh, huge, 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 huge. Oop. I'm just gonna stand around. Another thing, even when you're hitting minions, don't stand still. Move left and right, because you never know, especially in summoners, Rift, you never know when someone's gonna jump out of a bush and just, like, kill you. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so always, always be moving, and it's also good practice to keep your movement sharp. Like that trap right there, that's why you start running out of mana sometimes, because there wasn't anyone really running at you. Yeah. You throw the trap to try to engage, but you don't have the damage to kill them, so throwing a trap like that is usually not the best idea. 
Because if they wait for the trap to go down, they know that, oh, that ability is on cooldown now. I can just run them down. For free. Yeah, there's no way Jinx can run away from that. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, a good rule of thumb with things like flash, don't use it too early. Use it at the very last second. Use it only if you really, really have to. Mm. Same goes for like escaping and stuff. Use your movement only at the very last second so that you can potentially get away without needing to use it. Oh, um, yep, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Ash is annoying. She's just gonna keep poking us. Uh oh. That's alright. Uh, something in League that... In Valorant, everyone's kind of like always at equal power, right? Up. Unless like weapons are different. Yeah. In League, you have power spikes. So like, at certain levels, some champs are stronger than others. Or after mm -hmm. getting a certain item, some champs are stronger than others. So like, level 6, you always unlock your ultimate ability. So if someone's level 5 and someone's level 6, the level 6 is almost 100% going to win because they have a free ability up on them. Mm. I see, I see. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna use the ult. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cross map that ult. Oh yeah. I don't know if I can. Oh y'all are. I think this Jarvan might be a Smurf, but he's having the time of his life, so I'm gonna be chilling. Hmm. What item are you building into right now? Uh, Infinity. Infinity Edge? Alright. I would recommend getting your Mythic item second. Or yeah. getting, getting your Mythic item first before Infinity Edge. Okay, Reason for that is because Infinity Edge's passive will not activate until you have enough crit. So the Mythic item will give you the crit that you need, whereas Infinity Edge by itself does not give enough. So Infinity Edge first is almost always a no-go. With some exceptions. Ooh. Oh, nice, nice. Saving the flash for the last second, good. The kiting there wasn't perfect, but I could see the idea starting to form there. That was not bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh. Walking up, greeting for the heal. Uh, that happens. I do that all the time, don't worry. <laughs> Playing greedy is not bad. Playing greedy is not always bad. But knowing the limits... I think early game, or early on in League, don't be afraid to die. Limit test your champion, limit test your own abilities, mm -hmm. and know what you can do and cannot do. It's not ranked, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. That's okay. Uh. Nice low, he's low, he's low, he's low, he's low. Oh, I did too much damage. I wanted to give you that kill, actually. Fuck. <laughs> Hi, Biscuit. How are you doing? Thank you for the hydrate. We finished our little tiny coaching session. We're just doing a little game before I head off. Just to mess around with a little, uh, mess around with what he's learned today. Kill hungry man. <laughs> Oh, this guy's going in. What the heck? Yeah. Oh shit, I don't have an ability. 
And see, these guys, they went in one at a time into five people. We had maybe... Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. Like, jumping in there is suicide, so... There's no reason for me to go in on that. Or no reason for any of us to go in on that. Unless I want to limit test. Which I might do, actually. Hi, and I doing. I have to uh, have to do homework, but I uh, got to watch Toy Story for it, so that was something. Wait, you got to watch Toy Story as homework? What class was that for? Interesting. <clears throat> All right, let's see. You got your Kraken Slayer. Solid, solid. Kraken Slayer. Every third auto attack does true damage. Oh yeah, damage types. I might have to teach as well. So there's three types of damage in League. Attack damage, magic damage, and actually no, it's called ability power, but it's just magic damage. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Attack damage, ability power, and uh, true damage. Attack damage gets reduced by armor, magic damage or ability power gets reduced by magic resist, and true damage ignores all defenses. So it's just whatever that number says, that's the amount of damage it does to your HP. How to summarize and compare contrast the film on AFI's 100 Greatest American Films of All Time History of Cinema. Ooh. Was it the first Toy Story then? Oh, yeah. Nah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Rise Teleport. Incoming. Oh, my God. That's all right. <laughs> oh. The one from 1995? Oh. Direct attack on your life points? Oh yeah, that is true. It's like a direct attack on your life points in Yu-Gi-Oh. I have to do the compare and contrast part. Oh, the essay part. You. Actually, uh, one of my friends, Leah, she was also in a similar class, except it was for like specifically Japanese films. I was like, wait a minute, this sounds so familiar for some reason. Nice, clean up crew, clean up crew. Alright, be careful, that's three people you're walking into. Uh, yep, no, mm -hmm. I didn't, didn't see that. Another way to gauge strength is not the end all be all of gauging strength, but mm. if you press tab and you can see all like the items and stuff, right? More items equals stronger, obviously. Less items yeah. equals less stronger. So checking how many completed items a person has in compared in comparison to yourself is also a good way of gauging how strong their team might be, or how strong the person you're fighting might be. Oh shit, my mouse is there. Oh fuck, I can't see my mouse. <laughs> All good. Oh my god. Cool. <laughs> Fair and honestly, I feel deja vu from this class. IDK, why? Maybe because you've seen the films before? Possibly? I don't know. <laughs> Random guess. Oh! Wait, what the heck? I do have attack champions only bound onto a key. I didn't realize that. It's my uh it's my mute button on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I've pushed the mute, it's the uh the tilde key, but that's also Shit. target champions only, what the heck? Yeah, like this Jarvin, he's going in by himself a lot and he gets smacked around. That one there, that was Snowball. You don't really have a gap closers. Or they have gap closers, so unfortunately there's no way to get away from that one.
There's also a guy on our team who doesn't know how to buy items, since it's a lot of new players, so... <laughs> yeah. At the very least, I'm glad you know how to buy items, because <laughs> too many times when I was starting League, or started learning League, there were people who don't even know how to buy items, and it was pretty funny. Oh! <laughs> That's alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> League of Legends. What a what a <laughs> fitting way to end it. A lot of people BMing and being toxic despite being Smurfs. How fair. How funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's League. Yes. Um, I'm, do you have to leave? Yeah, I gotta head out. Um, but I don't know, if you have anything quick you want to ask or something, feel free to ask away. My DMs are also always open if you ever want help with stuff. So cool. I, Yeah, I'll be definitely I'll be playing more League. <laughs> uh, maybe in the future. Maybe mm -hmm. like not, not tonight because I'm brain's kind of fried over <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, information, information dump. It'd be like that. Yeah. AO DMs are open. Yeah, just go ahead and slide into Helix DMs. <laughs> DMs are always open. Yes, sir. But yeah, thank you so much for uh, teaching me. I really do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for um, joining me on this weird little league tutoring thing, I guess you could call it. I don't know. <laughs> Why don't you, like, one day get, like, a bunch of, like, people who don't know how to play league get in in a 5v5 and then you just commentate on like the oh <laughs> god no no yes, no please. that'd be horrible that would be terrible Holy, oh I want my you to do that. oh <laughs> my i would lose my mind i think i would actually lose my mind <laughs> if you actually organize that i would i swear to god i will help you <laughs> i mean do you have people in your community that are new to league I know a certain, I know quite a few people who don't who don't play league. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I might have to. I might have to do that then. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, no, I'll definitely uh, talk to you later. I'll see. We'll see what we can do in the future. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, dude. But but yeah, once again, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'll let you off. I'm gonna be pro probably gonna be playing something different. Okie I'll be lurking in your stream. Oh yeah, no worries. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. All right, see ya. All right, thank you again. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All righty. Uh, that's all for today, I guess. Let's go. Where should we send everyone? I don't know. Where do we send people? I said I would only raid new people from now on. Uh, let's go see. Who? Oh, yeah, I've seen this guy before. think yes 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 let's go say hi to ray why not slash raid boom raid message we'll just use the standard since it's new people uh i don't want to say anything too weird <laughs> um that was the league coaching session i might actually have to set up that new new league player thing that actually sounds kind of interesting i'd be down to do that um, if any of you guys want to join, feel free to do so as well. Um, starts barking. <laughs> Commentating. Oh gosh, I, I'm a terrible commentator. We'll see. Starts barking like starts losing my mind. Okay, I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.